first receive your loom cube, it's probably going to come in a package looking like this. When you open the box, you'll find the quick start guide, which you can just throw to the side because you're watching this video. And under the protective styrofoam, you'll see your new loom cube. Take it out, examine it, get to know it, love it. And then notice on the back of your loom cube that there is a flathead casing. That casing is to protect your micro USB charging port so the loom cube can stay waterproof down to 100 feet. You can simply unscrew the casing with a quarter or key and then find the charging cord under the second piece of protective styrofoam at the bottom of the box the loom cube came in. You'll notice that there is a USB on one side that can plug into any standard USB port and a micro USB on the other side that you plug into your cube to charge it up. So now that all of the contents are out of the box, you can start playing with your new Loom Cube. You'll notice that on top of the cube, there are two buttons. The right button triggers the cube to turn on and off as well as trigger the optical sensor, but that's something we'll discuss in a later video. And the left button controls the brightness of the cube. It has 10 brightness settings. You can dial up to 1500 lumens. And then just to turn it off, you can simply press the right button again. Those are the basic steps of unboxing your Loom Cube.